Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to change the system partition to read and write. Currently, I am on Android version 13, so it will definitely work with the older versions. So let me show you first that if I open the root explorer and after going to the root directory and tap on mount rw, it doesn't work. It is stuck to read only but don't worry we have a solution I have made the video in two steps the first step is for those who have custom recovery installed like TWRP orange Fox recovery and etc and in this step all you have to do is just flash a zip file and your device will get read write permission here is the two zip files. Basically both are the same, but you have to flash only one of them. The second zip file that is sysrw repair file. Flash the second one if you got the error 73 while flashing the first one. But as always before doing anything I always say backup your data and some important partitions like EFS. So I have an app here, the name is partition backup that can backup those partitions. Also you guys will get all the links in the description. So open the app and go to settings first and tick the raw partition image and untick the tar archive. Scroll down and tick mark these yellow colored partitions and tap on backup. So after backing it up, save it to cloud or your computer. Now before flashing this zip file, disable the zip signature in your custom recovery. Now you can flash the zip. Now the step 2 is for those who doesn't have custom recovery installed like my device. In this process we have to do it everything manually. To start with this process connect your device to your computer and open the command prompt in the adb folder. So I have the platform tools on my local disk. Turn on the USB debugging on your Android device and open the PowerShell window. You can also use Tarmux if you don't have access to PC. But at the end you need a computer to flash the partition. Now extract the flashable file that is systemrw 1.32. Open the root browser or any file manager you use. Then go to the extracted folder. Then you will find the systemrw 1.32 folder. So you have to move this folder to go to root directory then go to data then search for uh, local then you will find the tmp directory go there and paste it here now in that systemrw folder you will find systemrwsh that is a script file so we cannot run it before running it we have to give it the chmod permission so i am going to give it permission through my windows powershell and if you want to use the termux you can do it there so here i am typing adb shell
allow the USB debugging then we have to give the super user permission by typing su grant the permission on your device okay now type cd system let's see where we are okay we are in now system uh, now let's go to that directory where we extracted the script file so type cd data local tmp so here we are so we have to go into that system rw folder Here is our script file. Now give the chmod permission to that script file by typing chmod. Plus x. And the script file name. Okay. Now before running the script file we need some information about our device partition first. We need to know if our device uses super partition or not. Now this command will show you on which partition the super partition belongs. So type ls minus l dev block by name super so as you can see my super partition is on sdf 14 block that means my device has super partition now we can run the script file so to run this type dot slash okay so before running the script file if you have the super partition you have to type size equals to 15 but if you don't have the super partition just delete it so i have super partition so i will type size 15 and hit enter so here we got an error uh, that is your android version is not supported yet but we can also fix it by going to the root browser and here the android version fix so all you have to do copy that code and go back to the system folder and click on system rwsh script file and open in text editor after that you have to search for sdk check so now we have to delete this line inside the second bracket don't delete the second bracket and paste the code we have copied earlier so that's it now save it 
So file is saved. Now try to run it again. Now it's attempting to disable DM Verity and verification. And all we have to do is wait. So the process is completed now. The screen is saying now congratulations your image should now have RW capability. And in your device you will find the new folder has created that is IMG. Go inside that IMG and you will find super fixed bin that is our modified bin file and below it you will see the super original bin that is our stock bin file. You can always revert back by flashing the original bin file. So now move these two files to your SD card. Both files are huge. So we have moved our super fixed bin file. Now let's copy it to our desktop. Now I will copy these two files to my platform tools folder. So the two files are copied to my platform tools folder. Now we have to flash that super fixed dot bin file but if you are a oneplus user make sure to rename it to super underscore origin or it will break your device. Now reboot your device okay first let's exit it and reopen the powershell window and reboot your device to bootloader or fast boot mode So the comment will be first boot flash super then drag and drop the super fixed dot bin and hit enter. Here the task is completed. Now let's reboot to the device. So my device is booted up. Now let's check with root browser. 
let's tap on mount rw and you can see it has mounted to r and w so that was the manual process to change your system to r and w now you have to delete that files and folders because it takes a lot of space so go to the folder again data then local then temp and you can safely delete that system rw folder it will not affect the permission so that's it guys if you like my video feel free to subscribe me and in the description box there is my telegram channel if you have any problem you can reach me out there thanks for watching subscribe me for more